Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel for such more problem solutions. Now I am going to solve this problem 12123. In this problem, the it is said that the motorcycle is traveling at 1 meter per second when it is at, see, at point A, right? <clears throat> so let's say that the velocity of the motorcycle at point A equals to 1 meter per second. And it is said that if the speed is then increased at this rate, right? So we are given the tangential acceleration, right? Let me write it here, right? So we are given the tangential acceleration, which is 0 0.1 meter per second square. So it is said that determine the speed and acceleration at t equals to 5 seconds, right? So we have to find the velocity magnitude and the acceleration at t, the acceleration magnitude at t equals to 5 seconds, right? So as we know that the acceleration will have two components, right? One will be the tangential component, so the tangential component is given and we are required to find the normal component of the acceleration, right? So a n will be equal to v square divided by rho. So first we have to find this velocity at t equals to 5 seconds, right? So if we want to find this velocity, so as we know that this at is equal to v dot and v dot is dv by dt. So we can write that dv will be equal to 0 0.1 dt and we will integrate this from the initial velocity which is 1 meter per second velocity and this will be from 0 to t. So this will give us v minus 1 and this will be 0 0.1 t and this will be from 0 to t and if we apply these boundary conditions so then we will get this 0 0.1 t right so the velocity we can find the velocity at t equals to 5 seconds by using this equation right so this will be 1 plus 0 0.1 into t and if we put t equals to 5 seconds so that will be the velocity of the motorcycle after 5 seconds right so this comes out to be 1.5 meter per second right so this is the speed or the velocity magnitude when t is equal to 5 seconds, right? Now to find this normal acceleration, we have to find this uh, radius of curvature. So now we know the radius of the curvature equation, which is equal to this expression dy by dx whole square to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by the second derivative of the y of x function, right? And since it's a distance, so distance will always be positive. So then we have to take the absolute value of this, right? So now uh, we are given this y of x function, right? So we can write that this is y equals to 0 0.5 x square. So to find this radius of curvature, we have to find the first derivative and the second derivative of this y of x function, right? When t is equal to 5 seconds, right? So at this particular instant, we have to find the radius of the curvature, right? So if we take the derivative of this with respect to x so this will be 2 into 0.5 so 2 into 0.5 will be 1 right so we will get this x and d square y by dx square the second derivative will be equal to 1 right so this is the second derivative so now as we can see that in the given data only t equals to 5 second is given right so we we do not know the information of the x the x coordinate of the position of the motorcycle let's say that this is the after let's say at t equals to 5 seconds this is the motorcycle position right so at at this particular instant we know we do not know the x coordinate of its position right and similarly uh, we cannot find this first derivative of x right so then uh, there is a need of one another relation we need to have a relationship between s and this x coordinate right in order to find uh, this x value so to find the relationship between this s and x we can consider very small portion of this s right so if i consider this portion of uh, this distance of the motorcycle let's say if we consider this line right so now uh, we can draw a small rectangle here right if i draw a small rectangle here let's say we have this rectangle right so this line is this line let's say this is the small portion of this s right so let's say that this is the ds and as we can see that this is the change in uh, the y coordinate right so this will mean that this is dy and this the the base of this triangle is the change in the x coordinate of the uh, of this motorcycle right so we we, we are having this uh, 
right angle triangle right so using this right angle triangle we can find the relationship between d ds and dx and dy right so we can write if we apply the pythagoras theorem so then this will be equal to we can write the ds square since it's the hypotenuse will be equal to dx square plus dy square and if i take uh, dx square common from this term so then this will be dx square so then we will be left with 1 plus dy by dx whole square right and if i take the square root on both side of the equation right so if i take square root so then we will be left with ds equals to 1 plus dy by dx whole square this is square and this will be under the root 2 and dx will become dx will look like this right so this is dx ds right so now if we integrate this if we integrate this from 0 to s and this from 0 to x so we will get a relationship we will uh, obtain a function of s with respect to x right so uh, if we integrate this so we will be having s from 0 to s and this will be if we integrate this so this is equal to when we integrate this expression so this comes out to be 1 divided by 2 x plus 1 plus x square plus ln x plus 1 plus x square under the root 2 right so we will get this relation we will we will apply these boundary conditions from 0 to x right so now this will we will have this ex, uh, expression if we apply these boundary conditions so we will be left with uh, this equation now we have this equation uh, which relates s and x right so now if we know the value of s after t equals to 5 seconds so then we can find the value of x the x coordinates of the motorcycle position by using this equation right so now we have this equation which is v d v equals to a t d s right so uh, we can integrate this and a t is 0.1 right so we know that this is 0.1 this is given and we will integrate this from z uh, from the initial velocity which is 1 so this will be from 1 to v and this will be from 0 to s right and this will be equal to v square divided by 2 and this will be from 1 to v and this will be 0.1s from 0 to s right and if i multiply uh, 2 on both sides of the equation so we will be left with v square 1 and this will be 0.2s from 0 to s and if we apply these boundary conditions so this will be 1 v square minus 1 square and this will be 0.2s Right, so now we know the velocity value after t equals to 5 seconds so by using this equation we can find the position uh, of the motorcycle after t equals to 5 seconds right so this would be v square minus 1 so v square is 1.5 so 1.5 square minus 1 divided by 0 0.2 and this s comes out to be 6.25 meters so now we know s, uh, s magnitude right so s is 6.25 meters so now if i put a s value in this equation so then this will be 6.25 and if i multiply this to on the other side of the equation so this will be 2 into 6.25 and this will mean that this is 12.5 right so we can say that this is 12.5 or we can say that this whole equation is equal to 12.50 right so now uh, this equation has no direct solution so what we will do is that we will use the hit and trial method right so we will use the hit and trial method so we will plug uh, different values of x we will select a range of for the values of x and we will put uh, some values of x and and we'll check the result of that right so if that value comes closer to this 12.50 so then that will be the value of x coordinate right so i have developed a table here in in this website right this is geogebra.org right so you people can develop this table right so if i uh, put 
x equal to 0 in that equation, so the f of x value comes out to be 0, right? And if we put uh, x value equal to 1, so the result is 2.2959, right? And similarly, if the x value is 2, if the x value is 2, so the result is 5.91, right? And if the x value is 3, so the result is 11.3052. And now as we can see that in the value is, the x value is 3.2, so then it is very close to 12.5, right? So it is 12.60. So now we can say that uh, the x value is somewhere nearer to 3.2, right? So we can say that the approximate value of the x-coordinate is 3.20 meters, right? So now once we know this x value, so we can say that the first derivative of uh, this y of x function is equal to x, so which is equal to 3.20 meters. So now we can put these two values in this equation. We can find this radius of curvature by using this equation 1. So we can find the radius of curvature. So we will put 1 plus dy by dx is 3.2. So we will put 3.2 and we will take square of this. And this will be to the power 3 divided by 2. And this will be the second derivative. So the second derivative is equal to 1, right? So I will write 1. So this will give me the radius of the curvature. So from this uh, equation, we get the radius of curvature value, which is 37.68 meters, right? So now, once we know this radius of curvature, we can find the normal component of the acceleration. So then the velocity value is 1.5, right? So I will write 1.5 squared divided by 37.68. So this uh, gives us the normal component of the acceleration equals to 0 0.059 meter per second square. So now we know uh, this value of acceleration, the, this component of the acceleration. So now we can find the acceleration magnitude, right? So the acceleration magnitude will be equal to a t square plus a n square under the root 2. So now we know that a t value is 0 0.1, right? Which is given. So 0 0.1 square plus a n value which is 0 0.059 whole square. So this will give us the acceleration magnitude of the motorcycle after t equals to 5 seconds. So this is the acceleration magnitude. So it is 0 0.116 meter per second square and this is the velocity magnitude. 